Hey guys, this is Vien. This spreadsheet is my strength and conditioning spreadsheet. I made this about three to four years ago when I was doing a lot of strength conditioning with teams and individual athletes. We had a lot of interns come into uh, the facilities I worked at and this was a way I could scale the way I taught. Um, these are the principles taught through NSEA and CSES. This is definitely beginning knowledge and beginning format, beginning programming concepts. There's a lot of different ways now, but this is basically intended for physical therapists, trainers getting into the field, and then also for yourself if you want to design a workout for yourself. So again, this is just for beginners. I know a lot of things have changed and a lot of things, if you're more advanced, this is, you can pretty much blow past this. So first I wanted to go into the exercise list. This is the exercise library. I categorize all the exercises into different parts. So there's power, there's core, horizontal push, horizontal pull, vertical push, vertical pull, um, the lower, accessory, upper, all that good stuff. Up here, we have the cues in this um, column. And then in this column, we have variations. So say chain, single leg, double leg, um, kettlebells, dumbbell equipment, just different variations in each of the lifts is there. For notes, I have interesting things that might be useful for people to read. And then time before changing exercises, that'll make more sense once we go into microcycles and splits. But going into microcycles is the next tab. So um, in those categorized lifts, I have different sets and rep schemes for each. Again, this is just for beginners. These are three examples of the volume and dosage I would give for each of these phases and explains what the mus how the muscle is behaving to these dosages and then sets and reps. These abide by the volume, but they're just different in how I distribute them. Again, you might do things differently. That's perfectly fine. These are just examples and for beginners. Uh, we also have rest time on here and intensity. There might be different times where you choose this rep scheme versus this rep scheme, and there might be reasons why you don't. So um, just kind of look into it, look into the research on why you want to do that. Once you get more experience working with people, you also understand why you want to do that as far as like mental things go. Um, the splits is the part of the best page. So this is uh, examples if you want to give an athlete uh, that works out once a week or twice a week or three times a week or four times a week a program uh, you can go down right here ignore the one time a week because it's kind of hard to create the drop down for that but for this one um, say two times a week you have a drop down menu of all the exercises so let's just say for power from the exercise library it pulls up all the exercises right here and say I wanted to do like a snatch so I select snatch right there here and then I type in myself KB as a variation. Um, after that, you have your sets and reps drop down menu, and I have all the different sets and rep schemes that you would commonly use on here. You would use that. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of it. You would choose all that. It's pretty easy. The way I designed it was the way NSCA has it and teaches it's uh, exercise sequencing. So power, big lifts, accessory lifts, and then accessory lifts. I even go from multi joint to single joint, and then I got rotational working core. Different ways you could format a sheet like this. Some people uh, format it so it's you could tell exactly which one's a uh, superset. Um, instead of three grids like this, it might be day one, day three on one grid, day two, day four on one grid, so you can learn that, and then through the weeks. A lot of different ways. This is just, again, a beginner way of doing it. I know a lot, I get a lot of flack from the more advanced people saying, why are you teaching this program? There's a lot of different methods out there. But again, I just wanted to make this so it's a scalable way to teach people how to program correctly. Um, once you get more advanced, you could add in your own exercises. You can develop your own formats. But for now, this is what I have. And then also, as you get, uh, for physical therapists especially, your library is going to be different just because there's so many variations of exercises that we do for rehabs based on goals and individuals. Click this directions, figure out how to do it on your own, read the considerations and some tips on team workouts. I hope it's useful for you guys and that a lot of people find it as a gateway into the CSCS and proper programming. Thanks for following guys and subscribe if you guys want more info on strength and conditioning and fitness in general. Thanks.